Now in a given wave, say suppose y at x and t is written as a sin of kx minus omega t plus phi. Now before that, what is sin theta? What is theta? Theta is the argument, is the argument of the sine function of the sine function it is appearing as the argument of the sine function therefore theta is that is this theta corresponding to this so if we define something for theta we are defining this for kx minus omega t plus phi so this is the argument this is the argument of the sine function and this is known as and this particular argument is known as phase of the wave this is known as phase of the wave so if someone asks you what is the phase of the wave just write down the argument just write down the argument so questions do come in your examination what is the phase of the wave of this particular equation or at the last they will ask you to solve what was the phase with the given values given so use this now i also want to tell the students not to get confused regarding kx minus omega t in some books you will be given as omega t minus kx so this does not matter because the negative sign will automatically adjust now if you take minus common this becomes minus a sine omega t minus kx this equation becomes this so the value if the value falls in the third and fourth quadrant sine becomes negative so this value will automatically readjust so this is what we understand by the phase of the wave this is phase of the wave now comes what is amplitude amplitude so when you are asked to define amplitude all you have to do is look at the maximum displacement maximum displacement so maximum displacement now we know the value of sine the value of sine lies from minus 1 to 1 so this is where the value of sign lies. Now one interesting thing that we can notice is that when is this value the maximum? That is when is amplitude is known as maximum displacement. So when is this particular term maximum? When sine is equal to 1. When sine is equal to 1. So when the sine becomes equal to 1. When sine is 90 degree. When sine is 90 degree, the value is maximum. So now what we can say is that the amplitude will be maximum when kx minus omega t plus phi is equal to kx minus omega t plus phi is equal to 90 degree. So this is your equation and the maximum displacement is known as amplitude and amplitude is a or the value of a when this is equal to 1 so this is how you can find the amplitude
so this is the derivation that we have now if you observe this you will see that it is repeating after every interval of time this is twice pi n this is twice pi n it is being repeated now this can be again converted into sine x plus 2n pi into k and I am taking k outside so this can be written over here if I write this a bit more properly sine k this is x plus twice n pi divided by k now this can be further given as that is the displacement at points x at that is this is displacement at point x this is the displacement at point x at x plus twice n pi by k now we know that the displacement y is given by the position of x with respect to time t or the phase so the displacement at point x this is x the displacement of y at the point x with the phase x plus twice n pi divided by k are same are same are same for n equals to 1 2 3 4 and so on because this is a sinusoidal wave and it keeps on repeating so one function then 2 then 3 4 that is the value for value of n 1 2 3 4 it will be same therefore we can say that the least distance between points with the same displacement that is the least distance the least distance between points for the same distance for the same displacement sorry it's displacement it's for the same displacement is actually equal to is actually equal to lambda is actually equal to twice pi by k this is the value of x this is the value of x so twice n pi upon k this is for one displacement and for another displacement we have in place of n put 1 in place of n put 2 so the difference between this two will give you the displacement that is x will give you x so this is nothing but your twice pi upon k so lambda is actually equal to twice pi upon k and k is equal to twice pi upon lambda and k now we know lambda to be wavelength lambda to be wavelength now how did we get now the question is how did we get this displacement now as you can see the wavelength is from x to another point which will have the same value to another point which will have the same value and when will that is it is dependent on x so this value after this the next value therefore lambda is just the subtraction that is the subtraction of the previous this value with the previous value that will give you the wavelength for any instant of time so if this is wavelength then we know that the angular wave number that is the angular wave number angular wave number is given as k is equal to 1 by lambda by twice pi so this is the angular wave number and this is the wavelength 
and this is how we can take out the relation between angular wave number and wavelength.